Today, we're going to dive into the amazing world of the pygmy marmoset, the tiniest monkey on the planet. We'll check out where they live, how they chat with each other, and what they like to eat. Plus, we will tell you why they are called finger monkeys, and even if it is possible to have them as pets. It's going to be a fun adventure learning about these adorable mini monkeys, so let's get started. So what is a pygmy marmoset? The pygmy marmoset is known for being the smallest monkey in the world. Isn't that amazing? These tiny primates, often called finger monkeys, get this nickname because they're so small that they can cling to a human finger. Now, pygmy marmosets are a type of animal known as a New World monkey. This means they're part of a group of primates found primarily in the Americas. But what's really interesting about them is not just their size, but also their unique names. Besides being called finger monkeys, they're sometimes known as pocket monkeys or dwarf monkeys. These names all highlight just how small these adorable creatures are. Where do pygmy marmosets live? Pygmy marmosets have a very specific and fascinating habitat. They are native to the rainforests of the western Amazon basin in South America. This region is lush, green, and full of life, providing the perfect environment for these tiny primates. In these rainforests, pygmy marmosets prefer to live in areas that are dense with vegetation, especially near rivers. They are often found in evergreen and river-edge forests. These environments offer them plenty of food sources and the necessary cover to protect themselves from predators. The countries where you can find pygmy marmosets include Brazil, Peru, Ecuador, and Colombia. In these countries, the rainforests provide the ideal conditions for the pygmy marmosets to thrive. They have adapted incredibly well to this environment, with their small size allowing them to navigate the dense foliage and their diet being well suited to the resources available in these forests. How big do pygmy marmosets get? Pygmy marmosets are fascinating for their tiny size. On average, they measure around 14 centimeters or five and a half inch in length. When it comes to weight, these little monkeys are incredibly light, averaging about 119 grams or 4.2 ounces. It's interesting to note that males and females are very similar in size, but females tend to be slightly heavier. Now let's talk about newborn pygmy marmosets. These tiny babies are even smaller when they're born, weighing just about 15 grams or a half ounce. That's incredibly light, almost like holding a few paper clips in your hand. As they grow, both male and female pygmy marmosets will reach similar sizes, maintaining that tiny stature that makes them so unique. What do pygmy marmosets eat? Pygmy marmosets have a unique diet compared to many other monkey species. These tiny primates are primarily gummivores, which means they love to eat tree gum and sap. To get their food, they make little holes in tree bark and then lap up the sap that oozes out. It's a pretty clever way to get a meal, don't you think? But that's not all they eat. Pygmy marmosets also munch on fruits, insects, and small reptiles when they get the chance. This varied diet helps them get all the nutrients they need to stay healthy and active in their rainforest homes. Now, about how much they eat. These little guys don't need a lot to keep going. Given their small size, they consume only what's necessary to maintain their energy. It's all about quality, not quantity, in their diet. When it comes to the young pygmy marmosets, they rely on their mothers for nourishment. Baby marmosets are fed milk by their mothers, which provides them with all the essential nutrients they need to grow during the early stages of their life. As they get older, they gradually start to eat solid foods, learning from their parents and siblings how to forage and find the best tree sap and other food sources. Can pygmy marmosets be kept as pets? Pygmy marmosets, while incredibly cute, are not the most straightforward pets to keep. In fact, it's important to know that keeping them as pets is not recommended and can be illegal in many places. The legality of owning a pygmy marmoset varies from country to country and even state to state. In the United States, for example, some states allow the ownership of these tiny primates, while others have strict regulations or outright bans. If you're in a place where it's legal to keep a pygmy marmoset as a pet, remember that they require a lot of care and attention. These animals are naturally social and thrive in groups, so keeping them alone can be detrimental to their well-being. They need a space that mimics their natural habitat, with plenty of room to climb and explore. Their diet and healthcare needs are also specific and demanding. Pygmy marmosets are wild animals, and domesticating them can be challenging and ethically questionable. They are best suited to their natural habitat, where they can live as they are meant to, free and in the wild. 
So while the idea of having a tiny monkey as a pet might seem appealing, it's crucial to consider the significant responsibilities and legal implications that come with it. It's always best to admire these fascinating creatures from a distance and support their conservation in the wild. Are there different species of pygmy marmosets? Did you know that there are different species of pygmy marmosets? These tiny monkeys, which belong to the genus Sabuela, are fascinating for their diversity. While they are all known for being the smallest monkeys in the world, each species has its own unique characteristics. One of the species is the western pygmy marmoset, Sabuela pygmea. These little guys are particularly special because of their arboreal adaptations. This means they are incredibly skilled at living in trees, navigating the forest canopy with ease. Their agility and ability to move through the trees help them stay safe in their rainforest home. Another species is the Eastern Pygmy Marmoset. While similar in size and diet to their Western counterparts, they may have slight differences in their habitat preferences or social structures. However, detailed information on the distinct characteristics of the Eastern species compared to the Western one is less commonly discussed. How long do pygmy marmosets live? Pygmy marmosets have a lifespan that's quite impressive for their size. Generally, they can live for about 15 to 20 years. It's fascinating to think that such small creatures can have such a relatively long life. However, it's important to note that their lifespan can vary depending on whether they are in the wild or in captivity. In the wild, their life expectancy might be a bit shorter. This is mainly because of natural challenges they face, like falling out of trees or being preyed upon. Life in the wild is full of unexpected events after all. In captivity, where they are safe from predators and don't have the same risks as in the wild, pygmy marmosets can often reach the upper end of their lifespan range. They receive regular care, food, and medical attention, which can contribute to a longer and healthier life. Are pygmy marmosets endangered? Pygmy marmosets are currently not classified as endangered, but they do face certain threats that put their future at risk. The International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, lists the pygmy marmoset as a species of least concern, but this doesn't mean they're safe from danger. Their habitat is decreasing due to deforestation, mining, and oil palm cultivation, which are significant concerns for their survival. As for their population, exact numbers are hard to determine due to their elusive nature and the dense rainforest habitats they live in. However, conservation efforts are ongoing to protect these little creatures. Protected areas have been established in countries like Brazil, Bolivia, Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru. These efforts aim to conserve not only the pygmy marmoset, but also the rich biodiversity of the rainforests they call home. How do pygmy marmosets communicate? Pygmy marmosets have quite an interesting way of communicating with each other. These tiny monkeys use a combination of vocal and chemical methods to talk to one another. They have three distinct types of vocalizations, trills, j-calls, and long calls. Each of these sounds has a specific purpose and is used in different situations. The trill is a sound pygmy marmosets make when they are feeding, searching for insects, or traveling in groups. It's like their way of saying, hey, I'm over here, or look what I found. This call helps them stay connected with their group while they're busy doing their monkey business. J-calls are another interesting aspect of their communication. These calls are used in more specific situations, though the exact purpose can vary. And then there are the long calls, which are probably used for longer distance communication within their habitat. But it's not just about sounds. Pygmy marmosets also use body language and scent marking to communicate. This means they can send messages to each other without making a sound, which can be really handy in the wild. Are pygmy marmosets social animals? Pygmy marmosets are indeed social animals, and their social structure is quite fascinating. They typically live in small, close-knit family groups known as troops. These troops usually consist of about 2 to 15 members, but most commonly they have around 5 to 9 individuals. The group often includes a dominant breeding pair along with their offspring. The social dynamics within these groups are intriguing. The dominant female in the troop tends to be slightly heavier than the other members. This breeding pair is central to the group's structure, with the rest of the troop helping in various ways, such as caring for the young. In these family groups, pygmy marmosets exhibit a range of social behaviors. They groom each other, play together, and communicate through various vocalizations and body languages. 
This social interaction is crucial for maintaining bonds within the group and for the overall well-being of each member. Well, that's a wrap on our adventure with the tiny and incredible pygmy marmosets. We've had a blast learning about these smallest monkeys, from their home in the lush rainforests to their unique ways of chatting and playing. And now we know why they're much happier living in the wild. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Before you go, why not drop a comment? I'd love to hear what you found most fascinating about the pygmy marmosets. And if you enjoyed our journey together, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you won't miss out on more exciting adventures. There's a whole world of amazing animals out there to explore, and I can't wait to share more with you. Thanks for joining, and see you in the next video.